Hi, my name's Jolie, and uh, this is uh, Learning A Course in Miracles. Today, we are starting with review number two, and that starts on pages uh, 143, if you're following along in the book. So we're going to review, um, it'll be review two, I'm going to read over what we're going to do, and then um, we'll talk about uh, the first review lesson 81, which includes 61 and 62. And um, hope that's not confusing, but I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. And here we go. Review two. We are now ready for another review. We will begin where our last review left off and our cover two, and cover two areas each day. So there we go. The earlier part of each day will be devoted to one of these ideas and the latter part of the day will, uh, will be devoted to the other. So we will have one longer exercise period and frequent shorter ones in which we practice each of them. So the longer practice periods will follow this general form. Take about 15 minutes for each of them and begin by thinking about the ideas for the day and comments uh, that are included in the assignment. Devote some three or four minutes to reading them over very slowly or listening to them in this case several times if you wish, and then close your eyes and listen. Repeat the first phrase uh, of the exercise period if you find your mind wandering, but try to spend the major part of the time listening quietly, but attentively. There is a message waiting for you. Be confident that you will receive it. Remember that it belongs to you and that you want it. Do not allow your intent to waver in the face of distracting thoughts. Realize that whatever form such thoughts may take, they have no meaning and no power. Replace them with your determination to succeed. Do not forget that you will, uh, your will has power over all fantasies and dreams. Trust it to see you through and carry you beyond them. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way, the truth, and the life. Refuse to be sidetracked into detours, illusions, and thoughts of death. You are dedicated to salvation. Be determined each day not to leave your function unfulfilled. Reaffirm your determination in the shorter practice periods as well using the original form of the idea for general applications and more specific forms when needed. Some specific forms are included in the comments which follow the statement of the ideas. These, however, are merely suggestions. It is not the particular words you use that matter. So lesson 81 is a review of 61 and 62, and here we go. Our ideas for review today are 61. Quote, I am the light of the world. How holy am I? Who have been given the function of lighting up the world? Let me be still before my holiness. In its calm light, let all my conflicts disappear. In its peace, let me surrender who I am. Some specific forms for applying this idea when special difficulties seem to arise might be, quote, let me not obscure the light of the world in me. Let the light of the world shine through this appearance. The shadow will vanish before the light, end quote. Number 62, forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. It is through accepting my function that I will see the light in me. And in this light will my function stand clear and perfectly ambiguous before my sight. My acceptance does not depend on my recognizing what my function is, for I do not yet understand forgiveness. Yet I will trust that in the light, I will see it as it is. Specific forms for using this idea might include Quote, let this help me learn what forgiveness means. Let me not separate my function from my will. I will not use this for an alien purpose, end quote. 
I would suggest to repeat this video so that you can hear it again and then do the practice as such. So here we go. That was lesson in review two, pages 143 and 144.